Alrighty, here we are with some more 5150 New Beginnings. Uh, it is October. It's time for us to do our October uh, month. And the first thing we have to do is upkeep. So let's look at our increasing and decreasing reps. So at the end of the month, uh, let's go back to what happened. If you quick recap. So we live in Lower Gaia. Our name is Oren Ryder. We are a manufacturer working in some factory, building something. If you want to put in the comments what you think I'm building, what this character's building, uh, I'll take the one that makes me laugh the most uh, and we will uh, make that his official thing. On the 9th of September, 5150, he goes home to his apartment block in the, in the Lower Gaia neighborhood and he's robbed by these two waitresses. There's a gunfight, he wounds one, the other one runs off. Uh, things, you know, go his way, that's okay, he goes in there. And he's like, man, I'm sick of living in this crappy apartment in this downtown place. I want to get out of the manufacturing business. I want to, you know, rise above my station. Uh, so, on the 11th of September, he heads off to the Sick Frog Tavern. I generated that name by looking around uh, my kids' books that are scattered on the floor. And I had a Peppa Pig goes to the hospital and an animal book, which had a big frog on the front. So that's how we got that, right? Uh, outside, he bumps into a thief, but hey, you know, they interact, it's okay. They go their separate ways. The thief ignores him. He's, he's all right. He's a bit, you know, a bit wary. He's like, you know, hey, do I know this guy? Not really, but I know of him. He's a friend of a friend, maybe. He goes inside into the tavern where he's going to meet his friend who is a thief. Uh, and the thief, uh, you know, he was going to ask him for a job. He talks to him. He's like, hey, man. Can we, uh, you know, get, can, can you hook me up? And the thief says, nah, man, the criminal life is not for you. You are not the, uh, you know, the guy that I'm going to trust with that, which was a wise choice because almost immediately after he's asked by some private investigators, Hey man, who was that guy you were talking to? He's like, I don't know nothing. Then they ask the cops, the cops are a bit, you know, confrontational with him. They get a bit heavy on him. Uh, and he's like, look, man, look, I'm happy to knock him out. If you want to give me a job, <laughs> and lucky for our thief friend, uh, I rolled really badly and uh, I get rejected from that. And then uh, traveling on the way back from um, that area, I didn't write, uh, Midland Terrace back to Lower Gaia, uh, I happen to run into some mercenaries. We, we chat about weapons or whatever. Maybe they look at my pistol and say, hey man, you're packing, whatever. And I ask them for a job too. And they, they also rejected me. <laughs> it's been a bunch of rejections. But from that, we have our, our rep DC. This is our end of month rep for September. I might write September there. All right. Now, if if when we are doing this at the end of the month, if I have a plus one like or more, I get to try to roll to increase my actual rep, right? But... Uh, I, if I have a minus one, you have to roll to decrease your rep as well. However, uh, my, my rep equals out. <laughs> so I'm not able to increase or decrease my rep. Uh, and that is, that is that there. However, uh, we now start the month with some monthly upkeep. So let's have a look at the decreasing rep, uh, that we have. So Increasing. Do we have anything that happened positively? No, we actually have to do stuff for that. Decreasing rep. Do we have an additional band member on the payroll? No. Therefore, we can't leave a band member behind. That's not a problem. Uh, did I cut loose a band member? No, I didn't. Uh, I want to get better stuff. Well, I have not upgraded my weapons or armor. That is fine. Uh, monthly law level minus two. So we said we live in three, so that's going to cost me one. So we've got minus one for my uh, rent. Minus one rent at the moment. Interaction. When I interact with the PC, it goes up and down. Well, we've already kept track of that. Leave the battle board. I did leave the battle board. So I get a minus two uh, for running away last month. I should have put that on. Uh, so I'm actually in decrease. Any additional decrease? Do I have a spaceship? No, I don't. Do I have a spaceship that needs repairs? No, I don't. Did I use star power? No, I didn't. Sweet talk. We already included that. Vehicle monthly upkeep. I do not have a vehicle. So... I actually need to roll a decreasing rep D6. So, at the end of the month, with only decreasing rep E6, uh, you cannot save any decreasing rep E6. Uh, if at least you, one score is a one, your rep will go down a level regardless. So what do I have to do? One eternity later.
Roll them all. Oh, okay. So any decreasing reps, we have to roll. All right. So let's go. We have minus three. All right. So we're rolling them. And what are they versus? What is it versing? If you score a one, the rep goes down. Any other result and your rep will remain at the same. Rep can only go down one level regardless of the number of D6 rolled. Note that members of your band who have higher rep than you will leave the band. Uh, and any constants of not being able to upkeep your stuff. All right. We got no ones. Happy days. We're, we're living the dream. No, no reps go down. That's all right. We're good. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. So that's our... That's our uh, there you go. That should actually be September. September for real. <laughs> put for real there there you go fr all right so we start the month afresh with a fresh number of um you know increasing and decreasing and uh now we have our un our, our un um involuntary one six robbed again are you kidding me <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> Oh, maybe we're doing the robbery. <laughs> Paid 116. We could be doing the robbery. Am I going to rob someone? Or I don't think he'd rob someone. I don't think that's his style, man. <laughs> Let's be honest. That is not his style. Let's interact with... Uh, let's use the cards to work out who's robbing him. Oh, look, it's a tavern. Is that the same tavern? Maybe I put that card in the wrong spot. Let's do it again because I'm not doing that. That was the other card I did. Yeah, I definitely put them on the wrong pile. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> bank. Ah, oh, he goes to the bank. It's a bank robbery. That's exciting. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see who is robbing the bank. Uh, one, two, three is nine. It's a Labor Joe as well. Another Labor Joe. Uh, and we'll do the dice. There we go. Four. It's just a laborer. And how many of them are there? There is two robbers, and they've got a pretty crappy rep. Oh, this could be good for me, right? This is a bank situation, all right? I could get on the news. This could work out really well. Let's see. Do we have something that looks like a bank? <laughs> Don't know that I have something that looks like a bank. Let's see. We'll call that a bank. That's bankish, bank-like. It's kind of a diner, but we'll pretend it's a bank, right? So that that'll that'll work. My guy's just here to make a deposit. Uh, we need some criminals robbing the bank. Uh, we'll, we'll do these two. Why not? There you go. We've got them left over from last month handy. Um, and they're gonna rob the bank, I guess. In the heart of New Hope City, amidst the bustling streets, we find Oren Ryder on a mission. Times are tough for many, and Oren is determined to uncover a vital piece of information. His credit rating. The shadows of bad credit looms, and he wonders if that's the reason behind his job rejections. He seeks advice on how to mend his financial reputation and open doors to a brighter future. However... Unbeknownst to Oren, a different drama is unfolding within the bank's walls. Two other working Joes, an anxious young man and a stern elderly lady, are preparing for a different kind of transaction. Their intentions are far from noble, and they're gearing up to take drastic measures within the bank's hollowed halls. As Oren steps into the bank, his questions about his credit rating soon intersect with the desperate plan of two unlikely bank robbers. In this moment, Destiny's wheels are set in motion, and the choices made by these individuals will determine the course of their lives. The fate of Oren Ryder and those around him hangs in the balance, as they unknowingly become characters in the story of unexpected twists in the heart of New Hope City. Let's see who has advantage. Uh, one, two, three. I have advantage. I've noticed. I've spotted them. Um, and yeah, cool. I'm just going to get the page 45 up. We've got our actions. All right. So. All right. They, the bank robber has a, uh, one of them's unarmed and one has a pistol. That sounds familiar. <laughs> so. Um, all right. Let's roll the reps and see how we go. I pass two, they pass two, it's same.
What does that mean if we both pass the same? Uh, I'm on the wrong page. Same. The side with advantage counts as passing more d6, which is me. All right. Well, I will. Um, yeah, man. I'm gonna shoot for sure. Let's let's do that. All right. I pass two d6. I hit all targets. Uh, I only have one shot though, so I will choose to shoot the armed one, uh, which we, for the purposes of this video we'll say is um, oh let's let's say it's the guy with the hood, the mask, the masked man. Uh, so I hit all targets versus his rep. His rep is three, uh, and let's see. Do we just roll one dice? Yep, one dice per damage. All right, five. It's higher than his rep, but not a six. He goes out of the fight. All right, he's out of the fight. I get a one rep for taking a guy out of the fight. Go team. Plus one rep. All right. Uh, let's check the other person's... Uh, uh, oh, she still gets to have a turn, doesn't she? So, uh, what I think she'll do is she'll run over and take his gun, right? Uh, and she'll, she'll shoot me back. Um, and she will pass one, but not two. So shooting passing one, it's a miss if the shooter is a Joe, which they are a Joe. There you go, miss, done. Um, so she shoots and she misses. Uh, let's see, the uh, will to fight for both sides. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to keep fighting. She has passed one, but not two. Passes one, you are a Joe. Two figures leave the battle board. Well, that's her. She's going to leave <laughs> and take a friend with her, maybe. So there we go. We, we successfully stopped a bank robbery. That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, we successfully stopped a bank robbery as our first interaction for October. Um, you know, that's got to give us some social credit, surely. <laughs> Now, um, I will have a look at what the possible uh, options are for us, uh, but I think normally you'd be chilling, right? Um, and in this case, uh, I think, you know, he's going to celebrate the... Uh, celebrate his thing. Is there a possibility to get a job offer out of this? I don't think that's a thing that normally happens, but there you go. Oh, I stopped a bank robbery. That's a good way to start the month. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> I lied, we're not going to go... I lied, we're not going to go to the next video. Uh, it occurs to me that there's also the police, right? Now, I just stopped a bank robbery, uh, so I think we can have an interaction uh, with the, the police, right? Now, police are a... Um, exotic? Let's see, how many are there? There's the same as me, so we just got one cop. Uh, and let's see what level there they've got a rep four so we're going to do an interaction with the cops i think uh rather than it be a confrontation you know even though i shot someone i guess uh but i think this gives us a chance to generate something you know what i mean gives us a chance to have a go so we get three dice because we're cruel and there's a guy who's less than us but we lose one because i'm a joe and i'm talking to a non-joe uh, and the cop will get two dice as well. Um, and we're going to see if we have a favorable or unfavorable interaction. The white dice are me because I always do that and they hate me. Now, remember, this is off people skills. So I have a four in that. So that's only past one. But this guy's past zero. So that means I've got more, which means I get an increase in rep D6. Get one XP. I'm a hero, baby. Uh, and I can move into a more favorable interaction, um, where I would like to get a job. Now, I am not going to, um, do that. So, you know, cruel, lose a dice, Joe, like, cruel, gain a dice, lose a dice, because I'm a Joe. Trying to get a job. Here we go. Let's see how we go. In a further interaction. Okay, I've passed two. He has also passed two. They are the same which means that the, he disagrees again. <laughs> He's not going to offer me a job. <laughs> oh, no one wants to give me a job. Uh, but there you go. Um, I just thought that might be one of the many ways that we could, uh, you know, create 
some kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> some kind of benefit. But there we go. No, the cop's like, nah, not going to give you a job. You're uh, on your own. There you go. Oh, well, I tried. You know, you gotta, you got to be in it to win it. you got to drop off your... Um, Drop off your resume, as they say. <laughs> but there you go. Thanks. Thanks, Bobby Bobkins. Have a, have a great day. <laughs>